Hey, I'm Joel Lutender. I went to a, one of the main big box stores. I went to their vinyl plank department and I grabbed over 20 samples of vinyl plank that they sell. Now I'm gonna go through these and I'm gonna show you what they are and I'm gonna show you how durable they are and what I think of them. And so you can make your own determination of what you wanna do in the end. Now I wanna to talk to you about vinyl plank a little bit before we get into too deep with this. Now what's important is the core of your vinyl plank. And when I say core, I'm talking about the what your vinyl plank, this part of your plank right here is a pattern that they print on top of a core, okay? They, they glue this pattern on top of this core. Now the core is, is important because you want a durable core. I think thicker is better, but not always necessary. Not, not always necessarily better, but for the most part, you can pretty much bank on it that if you have thicker, it's better. A couple reasons why. It's gonna be something that's stronger. I believe that the thinner vinyl planks will react more to sunlight. So if you have patio doors, thicker is probably gonna be better for you. The other thing is the core is what they make the locking system from. So once the plank is designed, they run it through a machine that makes this locking system. Right here, you can see this the locking system right there. So you want that to be durable. This is actually the most important part of your plank right here is this locking system. Then everything else comes after that. You can have the best finish on top of this plank, the most durable that you'll ever find. But if that locking system isn't durable and strong, what good is it? It's just going to come apart, right? Gap on you, bubble up in the sunlight, things like that. So it's important. And I'm going to talk to you about that during this video. Now, everybody thinks that the wear layer is the most important. It's not. And I'm going to talk to you about the wear layer right now. So on top of this core that we have here, the next thing that comes in line is the, the pattern print, right? The pattern that I just showed you. After that, we have the wear layer. Now everybody thinks that the wear layer is most important. It's not. Now it is important, don't get me wrong, but it's all the wear layer is, is what's protecting this pattern. Meaning that over time, this wear layer will wear off. Once you get down to the pattern, now you start wearing the pattern off, okay? So if you get yourself like a 12 mil and above, your wear layer is gonna be plenty good. You don't need more than that, okay? 12 is perfect for a home. When you get into 20, yeah, hey, might as well go with 20 if they have it, right? But just keep in mind, that's not what is stopping scratches on your floor. This is not the scratch resistant part. What comes after that is the scratch resistance coat that they put over the top of the wear layer to protect that. Now that's super important because not every plank manufacturer even puts on this coating. Some of your cheaper vinyl planks, you're not gonna find that coating on there. And some of them put a coating on, but it's not a very good coating. And so those are the things that we're gonna talk about in this video, so let's watch. First off, I wanna show you a difference here in some plank. Do you see how thick this one is compared to this one? Well, in my opinion, thicker is usually better. And the reason why is because this locking system that they put on is gonna be thicker. It's gonna probably be more durable. But again, it does depend on what they make the core out of. If they make the core out of a very weak material, then the locking system is gonna be weak. And so you can see on this one, it's pretty strong. I, can, I can't break it. So I'm gonna put that off the side because I like that one. You can see how flimsy this is. Another thing with plank being thin and thick is that the thicker one is gonna probably hold up better in sunlight where it's not gonna like bubble up. But look at this plank, how flimsy it is. Well, this locking system on here is really thin. Look at how easy this breaks off. I mean, it's not a very good product. Try another one here. You can see how easy this one breaks. So the locking system's really what's the most important thing here. And I'm gonna kinda go through these and just put them off in different piles here. Here's another one that's really thin and weak locking system. They just bust right off. Well, the strength on these is what's gonna make or break your plank. It's more important to have the strength in this locking system than it is for the surface of the plank. You can have the best plank in the world that's designed on the top with wear layers and it doesn't matter if your plank is gonna fail because the locking system is junk, 
okay? So therefore I don't like having a weak locking system. We wanna have a tough locking system. Now this one is really flimsy too. Now the plank company might say, oh, well it's flexible so it'll flex with your floor. I wouldn't go by that, okay? I would go with a locking system that's very durable and hard to break. Now this is a thinner plank and this locking system is pretty tough. It really takes a lot to break that one. I'll put that one over there. And I will show you what these brands are once, once I go through all of these, but I have 20 plus samples here and only a few of these are gonna stand to the test. Here's a thicker one, very durable locking system. Here's another one, not too thick, but it has a pretty decent locking system. Like I said, I'm just gonna go through these real quick and check the locking systems first, and then we'll go through and show you which ones. That one's pretty strong. I'll go through and show you which ones I think are good or not. Okay, here's another one. Pretty cheap. Got another one. That one's not bad. That's a Tarquette. This one's pretty weak. This one, eh, yeah, that's weak. Here's another skinny, flimsy, thin plank with a locking system that is super weak. Pretty strong. Strong week comes right off so out of all these plank that i got from nards as samples these ones are the ones that were somewhat strong this entire stack right here i would not buy any of this okay so i had nine good ones and 15 bad ones so a total of 24 plank i'm testing out here at menards i'm going to go through some of these just to show you what we have here now this is called designer's image this is a six and a half mil meaning the thickness of the plank is six and a half mil so it's a nice thick plank it has an attached pad we'll go through and a little bit more on this one in a little bit i'm going to keep showing you all the ones that are good here now this locking system did break so actually that one i'm going to stick over there so i was wrong we have eight good ones so this one is from great lakes vinyl floors now here's the thing with vinyl plank, okay? Everybody's in the business of vinyl plank. So some of these people you might not even heard of. I've never heard of Great Lake Vinyl Floors, but this is so far a good product. It stands up to the test with the locking system. All right, so here we have another one. This one's a little thinner. It's called Veracore. Now I've never installed this either. This is a Tarquette product. I'm actually pretty impressed with this Tarquette product, okay? It's a thinner plank. It's a rigid core, meaning this one right here is a little bit thinner. It's not too thin, but this one is made for like extreme temperatures from like 25 below to maybe 140 degrees. Okay, so here's another one. This is by Shaw. Now I'm happy to say I finally found, there is other ones too, okay? I just don't want to throw Shaw under the bus about every one, but Shaw does have some good plank and they have some bad plank. This is Brighton. Okay, so that was a decent one. This is actually another Shaw one, same, just a different color. So realistically, I'll toss that off to the side and there was only seven good ones. Okay, so here's another one right here, another Tarquette, Veracore. So this is just a different color, um, same thickness as the last one. So I'll toss that off to the side and we'll say there was only five. Now here's another Shaw one called Manor Hill. So this is different than the Brighton, but this one has a good solid uh, locking system so I like that one here's another one Shaw Manor Hill Wow okay so after I go through there's realistically only five now let's go through the bad ones here because I might have some duplicates in here too of different colors this is another Great Lakes product this one didn't pass the test okay here's another one by Tarquette this one did not pass the test okay this one is by Shaw, did not pass the test. Okay, this one's by Great Lakes Vinyl Floors, did not pass the test. This one I'd have to look up, and I will. Same with this one. They just have numbers on them, nothing on the back. 
Pelican Creations. This one did not pass the test for me. Mohawk. This one did not pass the test for me. Another Mohawk. These two were the same. Farmhouse. This one did not pass the test. Designer's Image. This one did not pass the test. Another Shaw. Citadel. I didn't like this one either, and it's a really thin one. Another one, Timber Ridge by Shaw. Did not like that one. Okay, Ingenuity by Tarkat. Didn't like this one either. Cambria. This one I didn't like either. Was pretty brittle, but actually it was brittle, but it had a little strength, but it was just too brittle for me. This one right here, Easy Click. This one was really weak, did not like it. So here's one right here and I wanna show you, this one does not have an attached pad. Now I just wanna tell you, this is one that I threw in the pile that I wouldn't recommend anyway, but I do wanna tell you that if you get a plank that does not have an attached pad, it's gonna have, it's gonna, you're gonna to wanna to put pad underneath it and it's gonna have better sound deadening when you have a plank that has an attached pad to it than you have if you have one that doesn't. So keep that in mind, that's important to me too when I'm shopping for vinyl plank. Now I wanna to talk to you about the Shaw Brighton plank here. This is a seven by 48 plank. So 48 inches long, seven inches wide. This has a 20 mil wear layer on it. Now what's important is what do they put over that wear layer to protect that? Well, this is something special that they call scuff resist platinum. Okay, this is exclusive to Shaw, it's what they put over here to protect that wear layer. So let's give this the fork test. You can kind of see there's some scratches in there. Let me see if they wipe off. And if you can still see them. So out of the two that I did, there is a couple in there with the fork. Okay, now this is the Shaw Manor Hill. Now this protection layer that they have on here is a ceramic bead. So it's different than what they have on there. Now the overall thickness of this one is five mil. The other Shaw one was six mil, so that's a little thicker. But this has a 12 mil wear layer on it. Let's give this the fork test. Now honestly, I can't see the scratches anymore. They wiped off. So maybe they need to stick with this ceramic bead process that they're doing in this plank versus the other one. Even though this has a thinner wear layer, I like the durability of this one better. Okay, now this is designer image. This is a six and a half millimeter uh, overall thickness. So it's a nice thick plank. It's a 20 mil wear layer on here. And they have a UV cured urethane finish over here with ceramic bead technology that they put on the top of this plank over the wear layer. Let's do the fork test on this one. I can hardly even see where I made a mark. Okay, so this is the Great Lakes Vinyl Floors. Now, this is the Traverse series. Now this overall, the wear layer on this one is 20 mil and the overall thickness of this plank is six millimeters. So it's still thick, it's just not as thick as the six and a half. Now I'm gonna do the fork test on this and I already have a couple of times and I don't know if you can see this. There we go. But this totally fails the test. You can still see them on there. Now this is a UV coating on here that they put on. Okay, so they baked on a ultra, with ultraviolet um, light, they bake on a urethane finish on there. I'm not so sure I like the UV finish. So now this is that Tarkat Veracore. Now overall, this is five millimeters thick, okay? This also passes the test on the fork. I don't see any scratches in there. But here's the thing, they don't post anywhere I cannot find anywhere what they use for a coating over the top of their wear layer is all it says is it's scratch and dent resistant. And I gotta tell you, it is scratch resistant. 
Okay, in my next video, I'm gonna go to Home Depot, I'm gonna grab some samples from there, and we're gonna evaluate how good those are and the different types of brands that they have to offer you there. Now, I do also offer a lot of installation videos on my channel here, so if you're looking for some help with your vinyl plank, don't have fear, you can do this. Just go watch my videos on my channel and you'll see how easy this can actually be by following the methods that I share inside my videos. Hey again, my name is Joe Latender. Hit that subscribe button, that like button. I appreciate you. Hit the bell if you wanna be notified for some more of these videos. Hey, God bless you. Have a great day.